What's up you guys, Ben Elliott here, here to talk today about a feature in Serato called, oh wait, it doesn't have a name because it doesn't exist yet and it blows my mind. What's up guys, so I'm going to talk today about a feature I think Serato should have but for whatever reason does not have. And before we get into this, I just want to say I am a huge Serato fan. I am not knocking them whatsoever. I think they have a huge upper hand right now with Serato stems. I just don't understand why they haven't implemented this feature. It makes so much sense to me. So I think the feature would be called Serato Linked Tracks. And basically what the feature is, guys, is that you would be able to take selected tracks and link other tracks to them. So when you come across them in your library, they won't turn blue like they've already been played, but they could turn another color to let you know you've played a linked track or like a related track. So this would be great on remixes. You guys know every time the new hot song comes out, you're playing that song and then we move into the remix phase where you have numerous remixes of the same song for different situations. It would be nice to be able to link all these tracks to say when you're going through your library and you're out and you're, you know, it's been a long day, you can say, ooh, did I play this or not? Well, you didn't play this, but you played a different remix of this. Or you could even use it for things like vocals and, uh, you know, hype edits where they might use the same vocal loop. You don't want to be playing one into another with the same exact vocal loop over a hype edit. Or in the reverse, you could use that as a way to transition into that one. So I think it would have multiple uses and we're going to pop on the computer to show you exactly how I think it would probably look. So let's go. All right, guys. So here we are in Serato. Uh, I've already pulled up an example. Okay. So we've got this Coil Array song players, really big track right now. So earlier in the night, let's say I play this uh, beat breaker edit. Shout out uh, Headliners Music Club for these edits. Uh, so let's say earlier in the night, a little lower key, I play this track. There we go. I played that for a little bit. It's a little later in the night now. So this one turns blue because I've already played it, right? But later, I can't remember. Did I play this? Did I not? This is white. I haven't played it yet. So I pop it in. Crap. I already played this. It would be nice to have something where I could have linked these tracks like, hey, you already played this. Or an edit of this. So how I imagine this going is right up here, I'm going to put a linked track button. So let's say we've got this open. Now I can take... The other edit, the beat breaker edit, drag it right up here, linked tracks. Now, these are linked tracks. So let's reset these. So I play this. Now this one turns a different color so we can make this turn green or whatever. And now I know, I've already played this track. Okay. So it would be nice to know that later on in the night. All right, guys, so there it is, Serato Link Tracks, a feature I definitely think they should have. If you think it's a good idea, or if you don't, hit me in the comments, let me know. And if you really, really like it, tag Serato in the comments because I have emailed them about this numerous times. Obviously, they haven't implemented it because they're not just gonna do it just for me. But I think it would be a great idea. Anyway, guys, I'm Ben Elliott. Thank you so much for watching. And if you really like what you're seeing, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button for me. It helps me out. Thanks.